Hi, it's Barb again, and I'm here to show you another project I've made. Um, and this is the finished project, and I'm going to show you how I did it. So here's how I made the project. First, I got a battery-operated candle. I don't feel comfortable using real candles for this because if the wax burns down, then you've got a fire hazard. So I used battery-operated, and I really like it too because I have the one that you can set on a timer, so it'll go on and off at the same time every day. And then I used, uh, I cut out from my Cricut cartridge botanicals, and I put one of the shapes on here that I particularly liked. Cut it out in just a scrap piece of paper that I had left over from another project. And as you can see, it doesn't take much. And then I embellished it with the flower. Now I adhered it to the candle using Super 77. I imagine you could probably use your Xyron, um, but I did not. So I don't know if it works or not. I'm guessing it would, though. And that's how I made that candle. Now, for the other two, you don't need a Cricut to make them. So for the other ones, I used just a small candle. It's again battery operated. I was not fortunate enough to find one on a timer for this size, but it still works just fine. And then I have a punch. In this particular case, I used a Martha Stewart punch. And I punched out a strip, wrapped it around, and glued it on. And for this one, I, glue, I cut out one of the butterflies and I glued a little jewel on and stuck it on there. And for the other one, I embellished it with a little bow in the back. And I really like this. I thought this would be charming for a, a baby gift, for a baby shower. You could have a set of three or five. Make a nice little nightlight in the baby's room. And so that's how I did those. I hope you liked that project. Thanks for watching.